welcome back or if you're new here welcome my name is McKinley so for today's video as you can see I am reviewing and kind of unboxing my new Canon G7X so I just got this in the mail the other day I did unbox it looked inside of it kind of tested the camera out a little bit and looked at everything that I received in the package I bought this camera because I have an iPhone 7 and I use straight talk so for me to get another phone is like over $700 and my phone works fine. It's just for videos and stuff like that, not so much. It only has so much storage. Even when I delete, it will still say when I'm filming off here that I am out of storage. So it's really, really frustrating for me to film and it's just a little inconvenient in a lot of different ways. And I figured that if I'm going to be doing this YouTube thing and I want to be serious about it, that if I got myself a camera and I invested in it, that it would most likely be just the best thing for me to invest, buy something now, and then, you know, it will do right by me for here on out. So I decided with the Canon G7X because I've seen a lot of great reviews on it. You know, there's pros and cons with everything, but overall, after all the YouTube reviews I've looked at, Google reviews, everything like that, the Canon G7X was really just the best option I feel like for me right now. I mean, I know a lot of people are saying, wow, you're just starting your YouTube channel, you just bought an expensive camera, whatnot. My fiance and I also go adventuring a lot. We go out and we travel around New England and I would love to capture that as well. So with having not so much storage and um, you know, how ha not having great quality in a camera, I felt like investing in a good camera for multiple different things was the best option for me at this point. And I ended up actually getting a refurbished Canon G7X, so I didn't get a brand, brand new one. So I was a little nervous about it, but I actually did see a lot of YouTube reviews that did suggest to get a refurbished one because most of the time, they're the exact same thing as a brand new one and so I kind of held my trust in that and if you guys would like to know where I got the camera I got it through Walmart actually I believe and I ended up getting a protection plan and it came in a little kit so it got also with the purchase of the camera I got a USB I got a carrier for the USB I got a carrier for the camera itself I got cleaning supplies and I got a little tripod and it also came with a 32 gigabyte SD card which was really awesome. I'm going to show you everything I got and then once I do that I'm going to switch to the camera itself, see what the difference is in the video quality and just go from there. If you want to see my review on the Canon G7X then just keep on watching. So this is the carrier I have. I have this guide for me um, because to be quite honest I don't know a whole lot about cameras which is silly so for a while probably a month now I've just been researching googling YouTubing um, the best settings for a Canon G7X and like the best cameras to use for YouTube or vlogging whatever it may be and so I've been reading this for the last few days setting up the camera as best as I can and going from there so I've been keeping it close to the camera case so this is the case that it came with um, it came in the package of what I ordered this wasn't anything separate so with the camera and all the contents within this I paid just one total price for it I didn't have to add any more to the bag it was just a complete package so and it came with the straps here which was really nice it's pretty durable you can feel that there's a lot of good padding in here which I'm very happy about because I'm very nervous that I'm gonna break this thing and I really hope I don't so I'm gonna open it up the camera's gonna be the last thing I show you of course but guys I'm obsessed with it I love it so you guys want to keep watching for it it came with the screen protectors which I need Nathan to help me to put them on later came with q-tips for the lenses and possibly the screen and it came with some cleaner here so I just have this all packaged up together. It doesn't say what the contents of it is. It could just be water. Who knows? Or Windex. I don't know. But it's cleaner and it came with it. So. And so the SD card is inside of the camera right now. It also came with these little wipes. And this is the USB that I got. 
and this is the packaging it came with. If I want to unload some videos off my computer, put it onto here to make more room on my computer, then this is definitely a good option. And who knows, maybe eventually when YouTube becomes, you know, something that I'm more dependent on, then maybe I'll have to get, you know, more advanced electronics to help me store different videos. So who knows, but right now I have this and even if I don't use it, I have it. And then it also came with this little tripod. I know it's really small. I have a tripod already for my phone. I actually have two. One has a ring light, which is right here. I will show you. So that's what I have here. And then I have an adjustable tripod um, that you can actually like like wrap around other things. And that's what's my what my camera is on right now. So this actually I've been using more than that one that I have my phone on because it screws in. But it also, this is all attached, so there's no detachments from it. Whereas the tripod that I have for my camera, and once I get my camera on here, I'll show you guys. The tripod that I have that I've been using for all this time, it has a portion of it that's not fully connected to the rest of the tripod. And so I'm nervous that my camera's going to be on there and it's going to kind of fall off because the camera is heavy. And I don't want anything to happen to that. So I have this tripod. It can move pretty well. You know, it can bend and it's just, it's just small, but if you're holding the camera and you're kind of like in a vlog style, it works perfectly fine. It just gives you just enough room to make it comfortable enough when you're vlogging or you're looking into the camera that there's enough arm space there and then it's comfortable to hold on to instead of like holding like this or however way you would hold just the camera itself. You hold it like this and it's perfectly fine. So I enjoy that. Now the camera. This is the Canon G7X. It's beautiful. I love it. So what's really great about this is my face isn't going to be in here because I want to show you guys the camera. But you have this screen here that you can move in different angles. So depending on what your angle is with whatever video or picture that you're taking, you can kind of adjust it to you. The biggest thing that was for me is that it can flip upward. So when you're vlogging or you're doing a video, you can see yourself, you can make sure to see that you're in focus. And that's really big to me. So I film front camera and I know it's not the best quality, but I like to be able to see myself, make sure I'm still recording, make sure my storage isn't full, everything like that. So it's a basic kind of camera setup. You have your on off button. You have, you know, the different types of modes you can put it on. So you just put it on recording mode is what I've done so far. You can do pictures, you can do auto, you can do whatnot. This is the zoom tool here. So it zooms in pretty well. And it also has flash and it's really sleek. Because this is refurbished, I was nervous that there were going to be scratches or dents or something wrong with the lens. This is honestly a beautiful camera. It's nice and dense, so, you know, it doesn't feel cheap in any way. I haven't noticed any sorts of scratches, gouges, anything on this thing. It is meticulous. It's beautiful. So, right into here is where you put the battery in, which it came with a battery, and then the SD card, which this one came with as well. When I first got the camera in the mail, I wanted to make sure I fully charged the battery, just like you really do with any electronic when you first get it. So, it probably took like two hours, I want to say, to fully get it to charge, and the last few days I've been recording different videos, messing with all the different settings and adjustments, and just get pictures, everything like that. So, and the battery is still completely full and it's been a few days. So I haven't had any issues with that. Um, I just wanted to also show you, this is the record button. This is to go to, like you can delete here, you can do a couple things here. Um, this is to preview the last thing that you had either recorded or taken a picture of. And then this is your menu setting. Through your menu settings, you can go to a lot of different setting options, which I think is really nice as well. And depending if you're right-handed, left-handed, I mean, it doesn't really matter whichever way that you want to place the wristband. There's two different ports for it, I guess you can call it. But 
I absolutely love this thing. You just turn it right on. It comes up. I'll show you again. Canon and then right there. So when you're filming and you can flip it right up. So this is a way that you can kind of see you can see my camera. So that's like my setting if you can see it. This is my tripod. So it's great quality. It's also touch screen. I don't know if I already said that or not, but you can autofocus it yourself or uh, manually focus it. My thing's in the way. And then, so obviously it says no image, but you can go to menu and you can click on here and you can auto, you can click yourself. So I think this is a great camera and I'm going to switch over to the camera now um, to show you guys what the difference in quality is. Sound, what I've heard from it and what I reviewed over YouTube and Google is that the sound on the Canon G7X is not great. You can get mics for it, but I haven't yet. Um, the sound quality on my phone has been fine. Um, and hearing videos back, they've been fine as well. So I'm going to get off my iPhone and I'm going to be filming on my Canon G7X from here on out. Okay, so before I started with the rest of my review, I wanted to show you guys my tripod. I believe I got it off of Amazon, um, but like I said, you can kind of move it around, hook it up to different things, but this is the part of it that concerns me. So this obviously has the iPhone attachment right now. The iPhone attachment just screws right off. And then at the bottom of the camera, you can just screw it onto that part. But this is the problem that I'm concerned with, is if you move this, like trying to adjust the angle, it comes right off. And I'm nervous of this part coming off while I'm filming or vlogging or whatnot, and it being a problem. Okay, so I'm now on the Canon G7X. Another thing that I want to talk about about the Canon G7X is that it is Wi-Fi compatible. So if you want to upload videos or pictures through your camera directly onto your phone or computer, you're able to do that. And I do also believe there's an app that you can use to, you know, I'm really washed out. I'm sitting right in front of a window because there's not great lighting in this house. I did look on YouTube for the best settings for vlogging or YouTube style videos for the Canon G7X. So I did do that. I will be putting what settings I put in down in the description below. So if you guys have any suggestions on what other types of settings, off the top of my head I can remember that the ISO is set at 400. I heard the or at least what I saw is the lowest the ISO is, the better quality or lighting. And then I believe, <laughs> you guys, I don't know what I'm talking about. I believe I put the shutter to 1 out of 50. I don't know. You guys, please... Correct me if I'm wrong because like I said, I want to make the quality of this video the best I can be. I know and I've read that that a lot of people use the Canon G7X settings incorrectly so they're not getting the full quality like they could and I don't want to be that type of person. I want to use this camera as the best of its abilities. So if you have any suggestions, please comment down below and let me know or if you know of anybody else that's on YouTube that has done a YouTube video with different adjustments, settings, um, then just just link their YouTube channel down below or their video and I'd be so happy to see them and take a look at them and take their advice or your advice. I am very very happy with this camera so far like I said I've tried filming a few videos so vlog style I have filmed I just kind of need to get used to you know the depth of it all because it is different than an actual um, iPhone camera. Also tried filming like a workout video and the biggest problem with me is um, my fiance and I are actually not in our 
apartment right now we have been staying at his parents house helping take care of their dog while they've been away and they're kind of not able to come back because of everything that's going on in the world so I've been here for over a month now so so it's just it's just been difficult finding the best lighting and then also being able to find good areas to get a full body video if it's a workout video but other than that which is nothing to do really with the camera I've really enjoyed the quality of the videos that I've played back I've also put them onto my computer to be able to look at them that way and the sound is definitely not the best quality but that's something I knew it's not terrible clearly I'm going to be doing more and more videos with this camera so hopefully I'll be able to figure out the tricks with it all the best settings and you know what is the best option for me with this camera I had bought it originally from Walmart but the company that had use them was called Ted's and like I said I'll leave it all down below and they're the ones that had this package deal. I believe I ordered this camera on the 5th of this month which is April and it just got here I believe three days ago so with everything going on it said it was going to be quicker shipping and then it ended up not being but all in all it wasn't that bad and I'm very very happy so far with what I'm seeing and I think that this camera is really just going to motivate me a little bit more to film more it's gonna be easier for me which is the biggest thing because like I said before when I was filming on my iPhone it was really difficult it would stop filming on me the quality wasn't great and um, and my storage just kept on filling up and I know I can buy more storage and stuff like that but because I also travel throughout New England and my fiance and I like to go on hikes and see waterfalls and nature I really want to get into doing some photography as well I have a really great friend Ashley she does photography and she's familiar with cameras so I'm sure she'll be able to really help me with that and I just think memories and pictures do so much for somebody in videos as well so I think that this was a really great purchase for me and if anybody is looking at any sort of vlogging or videoing camera in any way I would highly suggest the Canon G7X and if you guys have any questions or want to learn anything else about the Canon G7X please just leave a comment down below and I'd be so happy to help you in answering those questions the best I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so happy I was able to do this review for you guys. I am so happy I made this purchase and I'm excited to film more and more videos. With everything going on, it's very crazy. I don't know if I've said this, but I work at an urgent care as a medical assistant and my hours have been cut and then they've been added and now we're doing the COVID testing. So it's been very stressful. Um, so I just hope that everyone is staying safe and healthy and thoughts and prayers are to everyone. And I just love filming because it really just gets me out of this crazy world and brings me in on just this moment and I'm really happy about it. I'm happy I'm still continuing this and I hope you guys are too. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video.